Hey, what's going on guys? Tatiwazi here, and welcome back to part 2 of the 1.17 Forge Minecraft modding tutorial. Uh, now, in this one, we are just going to be creating a very simple item, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing we're actually going to do is just delete these two test folders. That's not actually to do with items but they're just useless folders we don't need those uh, they just clutter up our package explorer the next thing you need to go ahead and do is just create a simple package and I like to call this core and then inside of that I like to create a package called init for uh, init meaning initialization and then here I'm going to create a class called item in it you can also call this uh, mod items if you want uh, whichever one you prefer some people also call it like um, tutorial items so like their mod ID and then items so like I suppose it would actually be tutorial mod items that's probably the best way to do it um, but I'm just so used to doing item in it it's it's just so much easier easier to say easier to to do so I'm going to be leaving it as item in it okay and we can just make this class final and give it a private constructor since we're never going to be constructing our item in it. it is simply just going to be simply just going to be for static fields pretty much so what we can do is well, we first need to create the object that will that we will register our items to and for that we are going to use something called a deferred register so let's create a public static final deferred register and this is going to be of type item because since we are creating an item and I'm going to call this items and that will be equal to deferred register dot create now this will take in the registry that is used for items and to get the registry we just call forge registries dot items and then finally the last parameter here is our mod id so since we created a static field for that we can just call tutorial mod dot mod id and just import item from net.minecraft.world.item.item okay and I guess we're going to have to import tutorial mod as well there we go the next thing we're going to want to do is actually create our item field so deferred register basically here is the the register It's what you register your items to but you don't register an item to it you register a registry object which contains an item to it so let's let's create this so this will also be public static final or in fact we could even have this private since it's probably not going to be accessed anywhere else but i'm just going to keep it public because we might want to use it in the future somewhere else so let's create a registry object and obviously of type item okay and let's call this um, example underscore item oh what did I do there oh dear how do I get rid of that uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what did I actually do here can I just uh, can I just close this Oh dear. Please let me close it. Has that worked? Yes, okay. I don't know what I did there. That is that is very interesting. Um yeah, so example item and this is going to be equal to items, which is our register. Uh items dot register. And then this is the name of your item. So this needs to be fully lowercase, no spaces, uh, pretty much the same sort of syntax as your mod ID. So 
Uh, obviously, this will just be example underscore item. Obviously, underscores, underscores replacing spaces. And this will be equal to a supplier of a new item. And once this loads, it will then ask for a properties. So for this, we simply just do a new item dot properties. And boom, we now have an item. Obviously, it's um, slightly weirdly formatted. There we go. So that is an item. Um, however, there are some properties we can add. Hence, we are creating a properties object. So if we put a dot there, we can see all the different properties that you can add. I'm going to first do the creative tab. So for that, it's just dot tab. And then you pass in the creative mode tab, which I believe is just creative mode tab and then dot whatever tab. So I'm just going to put this in misc. It's miscellaneous. And obviously, there's a bunch of other ones here. So you can have it like fire resistance, have it so it doesn't repair, um, give it durability, uh, food, so you can make it food. Um, that's fairly simple too. Um, you can give it a max stack size. There's a bunch of different things you can do. Um, but that's, I think, all I'm going to do. I'll, I guess I'll make it fire resistant as well. Sure. And you simply just chain these because it's a builder uh, sort of system. So yeah, that is that. Is that. We can now close item in it since we are done with that, and go back to our main class. So what we need to do in our main class is actually register the register, which sounds really strange, but I will try to explain. So first we need a bus. So essentially in, in Forge, everything works on a bus, and the bus sort of um, picks up all these events. So imagine events being passengers. Uh, and the, the bus will go ahead and pick up all these events and basically deliver them to the hooks, which let's say are the stations. So we need to go ahead and get a reference to this bus. since There's two buses, so there's the mod bus and the forge bus. And for registering stuff, we need to use the mod bus because the mod does it, not forge. So to get an access to that bus, we can go ahead and create. Um, so it is an I event bus that we are looking for. And we'll just call that bus. And that is equal to FML mod loading context. Oh, FML Java mod loading context. Huh, OK. I didn't know they changed the name of that, but yep. Uh, dot get dot get mod event bus. And you could probably also make this a var, to be honest. I think it's fairly obvious what it is. So, yeah, we'll do that. And then we simply just want to call item minute dot items. So this is our deferred register. And we just call dot register. And then that takes in the bus. There we go. And that will register all of our items. It'll register our register. It will register our deferred register, which registers our registry objects. It, it's a little bit confusing, um, but eventually you will you'll get used to it and you'll sort of understand it. Um, but yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. We do obviously need to go ahead and create the uh, lang and also the item model and obviously the item texture. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go into our source main resources and in here we want to create a folder called assets. Assets, yep, I did spell that right, okay. And then dot, and then this is your mod ID. So the same place in your build.gradle, in your main file and in your mods.toml. So mine was tutorial mod. Uh, yep, and then we can create, let's do the lang first. Lang is the easiest. 
lang. There we go. And in here, we just create a file. So that will be en underscore us dot json. Oh, we don't really like Jason. Jason is not a nice guy, but we do have to use Jason quite a lot in modding. Like a lot, a lot, actually. It's it's implemented a fair amount. So in here we first need to put the key and for items that is item dot and then our mod ID so tutorial mod dot and then the name of our item which was example underscore item and for the value that is literally just what you want it to translate to so example item and obviously this can be exactly how you want it to look pretty much then we can just save that fairly simple then let's create another package and this will be for the models there we go and in here we can create another package for the item models and while we're at it I'm just going to create one for the block models so that is just item and block uh, make sure it's not plural these two Everything has to be exactly as I'm showing you right here. Apart from the mod ID, of course. That would be your own mod ID. So, let's go into here. Let's create a file. This file needs to be the exact same name as your item. It cannot be any different. So, for me, that was example underscore item. And then it's a dot JSON again. JSON is everywhere. Okay. And... I'm just going to write this out, however I will have a template for this in the description, uh, which will probably be this exact template I'm writing right now. Um, so textures, you can write it out if you want, um, I mean eventually if you make enough items you'll probably just remember it off by heart like I do. Um, but yeah, I mean that's just that's just how it is there we go so this is what the item uh, will look like now I should mention if you want it to be uh, shown in the hand like a sword or a tool or a stick for example you change this generated here to handheld and that will make it look like it's held in the hand like a sword or a stick or pickaxe or whatever uh, but obviously for most items you just want to use generated since that is like the the normal um, display so right here would be your mod id so that's tutorial mod and then items which is where the texture will be and then uh, example item is the name of our texture so let's go ahead and save that and let's come out of here let's create another package which will be for the textures and in here I'm just going to create two packages, one for blocks and oh and one for items. So obviously those are both plural. And here you will just put your texture. So really quickly, I, I haven't made a texture. I'm just going to open paint.net. Obviously you don't have to use paint.net, you can use uh, GIMP, you can use Photoshop, you can use a sprite um, there's, there's a bunch, just don't use MS Paint and don't use Paint 3D since you cannot make, you cannot have transparency on those which are not great so obviously 16 by 16 is the normal texture size, the good texture size um, I don't know, I, I really don't know what I'm trying to draw here so it's just an example item um, so I'm not really worried about what I'm drawing and okay there we go fantastic this is a work of art so we will just want to go ahead and save this in our mod folder so uh, mine was on the A drive and then 1.70 tutorial mod source main resources uh, assets tutorial mod textures items and this is the exact name of your item so example underscore item 
and there you go if we go back into here we just can hit refresh and there we go that is our texture and we can obviously open it in here it's a bit weird because of how eclipse displays it um, but it is there so that's actually that's it that's it we can go ahead and run the game now okay so as you can see i am now in the game uh, don't mind the lag my cpu uh pretty bad um but if we now go into the miscellaneous tab we can see our example item and uh yeah look how beautiful it is it's amazing um so yeah that's pretty much it uh the next tutorial i'll just be doing blocks very simple um so yeah i will i will see you guys in the next tutorial so obviously if you did enjoy please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and also go ahead and subscribe as well so yeah if you have any issues with this tutorial obviously make sure you join my discord server um i'm more likely to check that well i will see it in the, if it's in the discord server uh, if it's in the comments i might not so yeah um see you guys in the next tutorial good bye <laughs>